Hey, what's up YouTubers? It's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how you can design a home icon. So we've got our document, we're going to select the rectangle tool and just draw any four-sided shape like so. We're going to set the fill color to black and now we're going to create the top part of our home icon. So we're going to left click on the rectangle tool, go down to polygon tool, left click anywhere on the artboard and just make sure the number of sides are set to three. Now for this next bit, make sure you've got your smart guides turned on. Go up to view, down to smart guides. You can see it's got a tick next to it. So when you drag this triangle next to the square, or the rectangle rather, you'll see that the pink guides show up that indicates that everything is lined up. And then you can just drag your triangle from the right until it snaps, like so. Now we can adjust the height of this triangle simply by going up to the direct selection tool. We'll just drag over this top anchor point only and you can use the mouse to move that up or down. You'll see here the pink guide appears to keep that point central or you can just select the top anchor point and use the arrow keys to adjust. Now we're going to select the rectangle tool again and just create a chimney on the right hand side like so. And now we're going to select this new four-sided shape and holding Alt, we will create a copy down here. Now this is going to be our door. You can see our smart guides are snapping everything to the center, which is great. And then we can just scale this shape up. If you hold Alt, it will scale from the center so we know that our door will stay central, which is ideal. And I'm just gonna color that white for now. And I'm just gonna make the chimney a little bit bigger. And I'll possibly make the door a little bit bigger as well. And you can adjust your icon as you need to. That's a rather large door at the minute. Let's just make that a bit smaller. Okay, so when you've got something that you're happy with and you want to finalize your icon, if I were to just add a colored background behind this, you'll see that the door is white. So if we were going to add this icon into a design file or a website or an app or something, we don't want this white here. We want this to be see-through. We want it to be transparent. So the first thing to do is to separate the colors. So we want to group all the black elements together and then from that, we want to knock the white out of the black. So let's do that in two stages. So if we select all the black elements just by left clicking and holding shift to multiple select, we can then go up to the Pathfinder palette and left click Unite. That's the top left one. And that will make this all into one shape. So if I go into preview mode, that's Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC, you'll see here we had all these individual shapes we selected all the different parts of the house and then we united them together to form this one shape. Now we've done that, we can left click on the door itself, that's the white shape, and then hold shift and left click on the house. And when we click minus front, that's the first one in from the top left here, you'll see that it knocks out the doorway from the house shape. So there we go, we have one complete shape with a single outline. And there we go. We've created a house icon in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.